Hey everybody, my name is Jastri Momo. I am a professional pharmacist and founder of Pharma Franchise Trend. My motive is to make people more informative and spread awareness about you. Protein subunits of protein based type COVID 19 vaccines. What are the COVID 19 vaccine types? There are four categories of vaccine in clinical trials. The four main types of COVID 19 vaccines are whole virus, viral vector, protein subunit and nucleic acid RNA and DNA. Some of them try to smuggle the antigen into the body, others use the body's own cell to make the viral antigen. Protein subunits are protein based type COVID-19 vaccines. Subunit vaccines use a piece of the pathogen often fragment of the protein to trigger an immune response doing so minimize the risk of side effects but it also means the immune response may be weaker this is why they often require adjuvant to help boost the immune system an example of an existing subunit vaccine is hepatitis b vaccine What are the protein subunit vaccines and how could they be used against COVID-19? All vaccines work by exposing the body to molecule from the target pathogen to trigger an immune response. But the method of exposure varies. Here how the subunit vaccines work. Rather than injecting a whole pathogen to trigger an immune response, subunit vaccines sometimes called acellular vaccines, contain purified piece of it, which have been specially selected for the ability to stimulate immune cells because these fragments are incapable of causing disease. Subunit vaccines are considered very safe. There are several types. Protein subunit vaccines contain specific isolated proteins from the viral or bacterial pathogen. Polysaccharides vaccines contain Change of sugar molecules, polysaccharides, found in the cell wall of some bacteria. Conjugate subunit vaccines bind a polysaccharide chain to a carrier protein to try and boost the immune response. Only protein subunit vaccines are being developed against the virus that cause COVID-19. Other subunit vaccines are already in widespread use. Examples include the hepatitis B and A cellular pertussis vaccines, protein subunits, the chemococcal polysaccharide vaccines, polysaccharides, and the Menekevi vaccine, which contain polysaccharides from the surface of four types of bacteria, which cause meningococcal disease joint to diphtheria or tetanus toxide conjugate subunits advantages and disadvantages of protein subunit vaccine well established technology suitable for people with compromised immune system no live components so no risk of the vaccine triggering disease relatively stable relatively complex to manufacture adjuvant and booster shots may be required Determining the best antigen combination takes time. How do such vaccines trigger immunity? Subunit vaccines contain fragments of protein and or polysaccharides from the pathogen, which have been carefully studied to identify which combination of these molecules are likely to produce a strong and effective immune response. 
by restricting the immune system access to the pathogen in this way the risk of side effect is minimized such vaccines are also relatively cheap and easy to produce and more stable than those containing whole virus or bacteria a downside of this precision is that the antigen used to elicit an immune response may lack molecular structure called pathogen associated molecular pattern which are common to a class of pathogens these structures can be read by immune cells and recognized as a danger signals so their absence may result in weaker immune response also because the antigen do not infect cells subunit vaccines mainly only trigger antibody mediated immune response again this means the immune response may be weaker than with the other type of vaccines to overcome this problem subunit vaccines are sometimes delivered alongside with adjuvant agent that stimulate the immune cells and booster doses to be required how easy are they to manufacture all subunit vaccines are made using live organisms such as bacteria and yeast which require substrates on which to grow them and strict hygiene to avoid contamination with other organism this make them more expensive to produce than chemically synthesized vaccines such as rna vaccine the precise manufacturing method depends on the type of subunit vaccines being produced protein subunit vaccines such as the recombinant hepatitis b vaccines are made by inserting the genetic code for the antigen into the yeast cells which are relatively easy to grow and capable of synthesizing large amount of protein the yeast is grown in large fermentation tank and then split open allowing the antigen to harvest this purified protein is then added to the other vaccine components such as preservative to keep it stable and adjuvants to boost the immune response in this case alum for polysaccharides or conjugate vaccine the polysaccharide is produced by growing bacteria in this industrial bioreactors before splitting the open and harvesting the polysaccharides from their cell wall in the case of conjugate vaccines the protein that the polysaccharide is attached to be must also be prepared by growing a different types of bacteria in separate bioreactors once it, the proteins are harvested they are chemically attached to the polysaccharides and then the remaining vaccines components are added that's all from me now guys i hope from this video you would gain more knowledge and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please put a comment below this video what other video you would like me to cover so that i know what you are looking for and please do share and subscribe to my channel for my friend just friend